tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the com he loves the combat he loves the engagement but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Methuen, Massachusetts, bad intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it efficient. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Great punch. Oh, he got everything behind. 
find that kick. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy's big pass. It's like he's hitting focus pitch, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's pitch. Nice punch lands. out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice! Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed into a knee to the body, it could in the night. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Big head kick. Left hand punch in the clinch. Big head kick land. Oh! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Body kick lands right under the elbow. And he landed the right hand there. Leading from his cheek now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Looking to land the right just out of range. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Now he gets back to range. Right hand on point. And that right hand landed square. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked though by Lee. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Right hand upstairs. That kick blocked by Lee. That would turn his hip over when he throws that kick. He lands a switch knee. For the end of round one. Protect yourself. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big punch man over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. 
Avatar to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Some nice back and forth action here. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Sneaky head kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice grab by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, what a kick. Oh, straight right. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Ooh, big shot lands. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. What a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Another shot lands upstairs. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Final seconds here of round number two. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Effective punch there by Lee. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Back out here, work on that. He sliced open good. There's a lot of blood. 
can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish. In All right, here we go as our next round gets Good underway. Fight. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Great punch landed with so much power. Beautiful body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Outstanding kick there by the combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Straight punch lands. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Big body kick land. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Beautiful body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Devastating body kick land. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Nice leg kick. Here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Big kick lands. Head kick. Lee's face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek and it's only getting worse. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice punch lands over the top. Right, Head kick lands. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Takedown defense holds up. Big leg kicks. Big push position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas his opponent out by hanging on his head. That's a big strike right there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Looking to land the right, just out of range. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Spinning back fist is there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. 
He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the round mercifully comes to an end, and how about the cut on his lip? Really, really bad. If that thing gets any worse, they're gonna certainly have to stop this fight. The doctor looks like he's already gonna be called in here. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Dig and kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. Back and forth we go here. He loaded up on that right hand too. There's no give on that leg kick. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can round. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Lands with the right hand. Right under the elbow, the body can land. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Just out of the range with that right hand. Nice punch land over the top. Blocks the shot. Standing, brutal knee to the body. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Missed with that attempt. Nice head kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. That is a thudding leg kick. Now connects with a right. Takes it, it up nicely in terms of state. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Liver kick. Left hook to the head, it's blocked. Real sneaky body kick. Beautiful strike. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh, 
by now. Nice sneaky head kick. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. 30 seconds to go. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Unable to land with that punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, that right hand is on point. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now, the cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Nice defense there, huge block. Slips. Good punch lands. Big leg kick lands. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick. That nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Punch to the body, that one is blocked. Wow! Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to get home and repair it back. Under three minutes remain in round five. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Whoa! This fight's gonna be over. What a good play. He mixed up his attack. He didn't stay in the corner. He mixed it up. He went high. He got him going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push it away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Circling to his right. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, that's a nice one. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He 
strike attempt blocked by Lee. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, big punch lands. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock them out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lou. in session, beautiful punch there. Great job landing, what a damaging punch. What a fight! All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50 44, 49 45, and 49 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! Right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly. Pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that